evening and welcome to The Nest. My name is Maureen Waititu and I'm your host tonight. The stories are always ordinary. The stories are about real people with true stories. And tonight is no different. We have an amazing woman, a mother, a wife, and she has an incredible story about her experience giving birth at only 24 when her husband was and was living and working abroad till this day. Fast forward, her baby is seven years old and she had crazy separation anxiety which made her very protective of her baby. And later on she came to realize what was going on and God blessed her with another baby of whom she even managed to live at home <laughs> at only eight months old. We can't wait to hear this story. But meanwhile, we'll see you right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. It affects how one feels, thinks and behaves and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. Depression does not only affect adults. Children and young people can get depressed as well. It's not exactly known what causes depression and as with many mental disorders, a variety of factors may be involved, including brain chemistry, inherited traits, biological differences and hormones. The primary symptoms of depression revolve around sadness, a feeling of hopelessness, and mood changes. When a child seems sad either, doesn't necessarily mean they have depression, but if their sadness becomes persistent or interferes with their normal social activities, interest, schoolwork, or family life, it may mean they have a depressive illness. Some of the common symptoms of depression in children include crankiness, social withdrawal, being more sensitive to rejection, continuous feeling of sadness and hopelessness, changes in sleep, changes in appetite either increased or decreased, trouble in concentrating, vocal outbursts or crying, fatigue and low energy, and physical complaints that don't respond to treatments. Depression may also lead to thoughts of suicide. It's important to get help early if you think your child may be depressed. The longer it goes on, the more likely it is to disrupt your child's life and turn into a long-term problem. The treatment options for depression is psychotherapy and or antidepressants. Today we get to look in depth at the causes, how to prepare children to accept eventualities in life, and generally how to prevent depression in children. Welcome back. We have our beautiful guest, a mother. Her story is absolutely extraordinary in as much as she insists it's not, but it's about sharing her experience and also how she overcame it to get where she is today. And Karibu Sana, maybe you could introduce yourself to our viewers. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Anika Guru. I'm 31 years old mm -hmm. and I'm a mother of two. Wow. I have a son who is seven years old mm -hmm. and a daughter who is eight months old. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for honoring us with your presence. Thank you for having me again. Right. Uh, we know that uh, every mother has a story to tell. Sure. So, Anne, I know that uh, you got your baby at a very young age, sure. um, obviously as an adult, but also as a very young lady. Sure. So, where did it all begin, uh, you know, the thought of starting a family, where did it all begin? Okay, so I finished campus uh, back in 2011, uh -huh. uh, so I met my husband then, mm -hmm. end of 2011, mm -hmm. but so uh, we decided to be together and we did our traditional marriage in 2012. Oh, wow. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I was trying for a kid yes. a whole year, okay. it didn't happen, okay. so he used to go and come, he oh. lives abroad, oh, sorry I had not mentioned, yes, right. he lives abroad, he uh -huh. lives in Canada, oh. Oh, so he works far. there, okay. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and and the nature of his job will not allow me to go and join him because he works in an oil field. Oh, I see. To, yeah, to, to the so oil he lives in the uh, camp. Yes, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. So yeah. It, wouldn't, it, it wouldn't even make a difference. It wouldn't make a difference. Right. So I had to stay back home because yes. actually at the end of it all, his plan is coming back home. Okay. So I got married at 22 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we started uh, looking for a child. Yes. So uh, uh, the whole of 2012, mm -hmm. then 2013, I got pregnant April. Wow. Yes, mm -hmm. it was so exciting. Mm -hmm. 
yeah and he could make to come home thrice uh, thrice a year oh, yeah. or that's, four times a year that's a big deal from canada yeah yes so finally mm -hmm. gave birth to my child mm -hmm. but he was not there he okay. couldn't make to come home i see so you carried the pregnancy when he was still away he was still away he came back. twice right when i was pregnant but oh. he couldn't come when i was getting the baby of course yeah yes yeah so how was that um uh, i can imagine the pregnancy journey yes. and towards giving birth yeah how was that for you uh the pregnancy was quite smooth i would say oh uh i was expecting not any other mother would say i'll yes. just go to the hospital and uh -huh. give birth to a baby normally yes, yes. and everything yes. i'm waiting for the uh, labor pains mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. so throughout the journey it was nice i would go for clinics and everything okay. so on the 19th of january mm -hmm. uh, i was 42 weeks i was okay. two weeks oh. past yes i was completely <laughs> so it was person 42 didn't weeks. want to come out yes yes yes, yes. so at 42 weeks so my guy had decided they mm -hmm. should induce me mm -hmm. so that i could get the baby so yes. and then he could not come to oh, kenya of course so i was induced for over 24 hours but the baby still did not come. Oh I could my. not open more than three centimeters. I see. So it was uh, declared emergency CS, okay. which I was not we ready. We all dread it. Yes, 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 which I was not ready. I was so scared. Okay. I don't know why I was scared about it. No, no, no. But no, uh, I, I was just the thinking of yes. being in theater yes. and everything. I was yes. really scared. Yes. But finally, I went through it mm -hmm. and. Um, when, 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 when I went back home, that's mm -hmm. when, maybe later on, I realized that mm -hmm. that's when I was not okay. Because okay. uh, I would put a pillow between, uh, when we are sleeping, because yes. my mom came, my husband was not around, okay. so my mom came to, uh -huh. to do the to nursing for me. Yes. 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 So I would put a pillow between my mom and my kid oh. when we are sleeping, because oh. I was scared oh, my that goodness. my baby yes. would get hurt. Yes. Uh, if you would come to visit me, uh -huh. you had to hold the baby with a pillow, like I would put, literally put a pillow. Oh, I knew wow. then I put the baby on top. Yes, yes. you couldn't hold my baby without the pillow because I would feel yes. you'll break the neck or oh, the ears. I see. So I came to realize later that mm -hmm. it was not normal. It was like, not no. normal. Yes. yes, yes. So with mm -hmm. time, I could not be attached with my kid. Okay. So my mom tried to talk to me about getting a nanny so mm -hmm. that I, maybe they could help with the house chores right. and cooking. Yes. I couldn't do it by myself. Okay. So I, I don't know why I was having these imaginary ideas mm -hmm. like the nanny would come in and maybe take the baby when I'm sleeping. Oh, I see. Yeah, so uh -huh. I was just having a hard time and the baby is small. I want mm -hmm. to lock myself in my room. Then when I lock it, I feel like maybe the, the house will catch fire and I'll not hear. It was crazy. So you had paranoia. I had paranoia. paranoia. Crazy paranoia. Right. And uh, yes. was this from day one when you came back home or was it a progressive paranoia? I would say it was from day one. Okay. Then it went uh, getting um, worse, and worse worse yes because from the one you will see I will not allow anyone to hold the baby without the pillow right. I will protect my baby even from my own mom oh, so I with see. time yes. with time mm -hmm. I realized because when the baby was growing even mm -hmm. when the baby was getting to two three mm -hmm. four months mm -hmm. I didn't want anyone around my baby I completely I, I was protecting the baby right yeah uh, so so maybe you can even elaborate further mm -hmm. like your ordinary days how mm -hmm. would they look like you wake up in the morning because mm -hmm. I can relate in a way with yeah. my story because mm -hmm. I could leave my baby in the room mm -hmm. and run to shower mm -hmm. and I can tell you this the first three months mm -hmm. I never I wasn't in the shower for more than two minutes yeah. so the minute in fact I would run turn on the water mm -hmm. come back yeah. and then now go inside to shower mm -hmm. I had mustard like head to toe yeah two minutes yeah. And for some reason, even when I would be in the shower, I would sort of hear my baby crying, crying of yeah. which was not correct. True. And then I was also locking myself up in the room mm -hmm. and not yeah. wanting people near my kids yeah. or giving. In fact, I would give up my baby and I'm like, um, I cannot be okay. Yes, yeah. is the baby okay? Is the baby going to be dropped? So I can yeah. relate in a way. Yeah, but sure. what were some of the things you could have done then that you're looking back and you're like, wow. Yeah. What like, was going like on? Like drawing the curtains. Yes. I used to hate drawn curtains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted them to stay closed, closed throughout yes. the day. Yes. Uh, most of the time, I wanted to spend my time in the bedroom uh -huh. with my baby. Yes. 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 Um, uh, I locked out a lot of people. I didn't mm -hmm. want visitors. Mm -hmm. Then it got to a point that I wanted them, but I don't want them to hold my baby. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So at some point, I painted my house black and navy blue. What? Yes. Oh, this is when the baby is still the baby, small. Yeah, within the first year of my baby. No. Yes. Because you preferred I preferred dark a dark space. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I preferred a dark space. Mm -hmm. So 
I chose a, a dark color for my sitting room. I, 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 I mixed black with navy blue. You can imagine how, yes, it was too dark and I never wanted the curtains drawn. Okay. Yeah, so okay. Every, I became very protective of my kids. So mm -hmm. once I hired a nanny, mm -hmm. I would always, like when the baby cries, at a kidogo too, like I'm there. Yes, yeah, the, the one baby running. Cry, you're fired. Yes. You're fired. Oh no. Yes. And oh, it is no. something that can happen when I'm having the it's baby. True. But I couldn't handle it. Right. I was I was too overprotective of mm -hmm, my kid, mm -hmm. even to the dad. When the dad came, no. Yes. When he was carrying him, mm -hmm. I didn't want. You I was scared. Like almost. I don't know why. It's because he was yes. not there, so yes. I was feeling maybe he won't handle the baby nicely. See, yes. He was not there. He does not mm. know how to handle the baby. Mm -hmm. He needed. To, he needed to be there to learn how to handle a baby yes, with me. Yes, so yes. Uh, I was skeptical about giving him the baby. Mm -hmm. At times he would tell me, "Just rest. I'll oh, I'll baby. be with the baby." Oh. But I couldn't. I see. I couldn't. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And what do you think, were there particular incidents or factors that could have led you to that? Looking back, would Looking you think, back, yeah. yeah, would you think there's, there's something that happened yeah. that made you get into this paranoia stroke, you know, depressive state? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, personally, mm -hmm. I think um, maybe an expert will tell me, but okay. uh, having this kid uh, alone, mm -hmm. like uh, the uh, father is there, yes, yes, but he's not there physically. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So he was present on phone, he would call, he would follow up, oh. take care of the hospital bills mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. try to keep up with us how we yes, are, but yes. he's presence not being there uh -huh. and then uh, I also feel uh, maybe when like a friend would ask me yes. the father is not here how will you even give birth when the father is right. not there you know that also makes you the pressure yes. around so I did I even remember when I was in hospital mm -hmm. my mom would urge me please just mm -hmm. go for the cesarean section and get yeah. the baby yeah. and I was like no I cannot go to the theater I want the dad to come I want the dad here. Yes. So they had to talk me. They even had to call my grandmother from oh. Limuru, yes, <laughs> to come talk to yes, me yes. so that I could go to theater. So right. I think I was scared okay. of having this baby alone. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, I was, I was young. Yes. Not really young, but, but I was still, young. You were quite was, young. Yes. I was yes. 24 actually then. Oh, so wow. it was the first time I just got married, mm. uh, fresh from campus. Yes. I've never lived in with someone. Yes. Now it's here. And baby is alone here. Now? I'm alone. Yes. Baby is here. What am yes. I supposed to do? How right. am I supposed to handle oh. this? Oh so I think I was really scared. I had a lot of mixed emotions mm -hmm. before the baby right. and after the baby. Mm -hmm. So after the baby, you know the way the babies cry the first month. Mm -hmm. My mom was there. I thank oh. God for her. Oh, yes. But at some point she had to leave. Of she had course. to go at home because yes. I have other siblings. She had to go to care right, of them. Right. So mm -hmm. when she left, I was all alone with this baby. So I felt I needed to protect this baby. True. And letting go of protection mm. was... It wasn't... Uh, yes. yes and I can imagine later on it would come to affect you in ways that we're going to discuss later. Yeah, sure. So uh, slowly by slowly, when did you feel like things are improving along the way? Um, I remember there was a time when my son was two years old uh -huh. and then uh, his dad showed him something like just a boyish thing mm -hmm. and I was so scared. I got mad. I even asked him to leave the country. I don't want to see him. He's oh. putting the baby into danger. Oh, yes. And then he just sat me down and told me, no, you have to let it go. Stop being scared. The yes. baby is not in danger. I'm the dad. Yes. As much as you are the mom, yes. I cannot harm the baby. But yes. he'll respect me yes, and he'll respect my feelings. He was understanding that is the where you were he was coming understanding. from. Actually, yes. he, he was the one and asked me to sort help. Oh. Yeah, he just told me to be talking to people yes. and tr and try and let go of the baby. You know, till today, I cannot let my son go. Yes sleep somewhere yes. even for a sleepover yes till date i just feel i, I just have a little attachment about it yes. but I, i'm trying as much as possible to let go <laughs> yes. but it's quite confusing with him it's quite confusing i i, I know which is very different with the other baby it's true and we're going yes. to talk about that as yeah. i also share and i can tell you this mm. i have a very soft spot and very protective uh, situation with my firstborn son as well. Yeah. In fact, till today, yeah. he's five years old, yeah. but when he cries, it mm. hurts me yeah. physically. Yeah. So I almost feel like I need to go and find out. And you know, it's a very thin balance yeah. between letting the child grow the yeah. way they should yeah. and also not being too attached because yeah. they can become mama's boys. And yours is a boy true, as well. Yeah, yeah? Yes, yes, very so true. we don't want to start something we cannot, we cannot uh, handle reverse, later yes, on. Sure. Right. And so at two years, uh, hubby is telling you, honey, take, uh, think about it. Yeah, just think Seek about it. Seek some help. Yeah. Right. So how do the next five years look like and how has it been um, 
in terms of you and your child and also trying to improve the situation mm -hmm. and now becoming pregnant again yeah. going through the pregnancy giving birth and to get where you are today yeah yes okay um i would say actually within the five years yes. i was even scared of getting pregnant again oh i see yes, yes. so I, I i really had to uh, seek help mm -hmm. to be talked into getting another baby right yes i was really scared i didn't want to go through the same ordeal True. i was scared True. but uh it got better mm -hmm. at some point when when my son went to school i remember I even he went to school to, to a certain school yeah. uh and he stayed there for two days because he cried and the dad had paid the full fees but oh, no. he cried yes. and i had to check him i told no he's not going there anymore True. he cannot stay he is crying yes yes so with time i went i, I decided to let go yes so he went to the second school and then a third school then i realized okay. it is not the school it is him he needs it to adjust yes. and he's seeing the fear in me you know yes. he's growing and he's very and attached he can, to you yeah as and well. he can see yes mommy is Mommy is scared. Very attached. So if she's yes. scared, this yes. place is not safe. Yes, yes. So she, he would also oh. not want and, and, school. And that's the thing with kids. We think they're just little human beings who don't know anything. Yeah. But because of the bond we have with them, yeah. they feel everything you feel. Very true. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with time, when he went to school, I started letting go. We could go a whole day. You know, at times where, the first times we went to school, I could not even leave the house. I wanted to stay there until he comes from school. Oh. I see him, I ask him, did anyone hurt you? Right. you yeah. So so with time, mm -hmm. uh, it became better, uh -huh. and then uh, so I was okay. By uh, last year, but one, I yes. was ready to have a baby. I see. Yeah. Yes. How did that happen? How are you a different parent to your new baby? So I will say the second pregnancy mm -hmm. was quite small. Okay. I think maybe we we decided uh, whatever we didn't do right on the first pregnancy, yes. we tried with the second pregnancy. Right. So of course it was quite smooth. Yes. Uh, I didn't have any issues. Mm -hmm. He he really uh, the dad really tried to be in the country as much as possible yes, yes. although he was not there when i was giving birth again oh i see yeah but this time i was i was also prepared i yes. was going to have it via c-section yes, 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 so yes. theater was not an issue for mm -hmm. me i was prepared mm -hmm. i knew there is the injection there is yes. epidural there yes. is, it will take me 15 to 20 minutes right so with the second one yeah. it was a bit easier because okay. the pregnancy was mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. uh, plus now giving birth i, I had an idea what bring up a bit is right yeah and uh <coughs> Sorry. so it's okay yeah um so how has it been different uh, with uh you're now an eight month old yeah eight she's eight old baby girl yeah because basically she's still a newborn yeah she is <laughs> but, but at yes. least i can come all the way to west uh, so right. leave her with a nanny uh, right with my son i left him i think when he was about two. Oh. Yes, and all the way to two years. Yes, Shingo Pande. Shingo Pande. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. it, yeah, it's 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 better. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not overprotective. Okay. And I enjoy it. I feel I I feel my kids are safe. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to do that. And I love things colourful now. Uh. I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue like the first time. <laughs> right. <laughs> I enjoy it now. Yes, more. yes, yes. Yeah. And you've been able to handle this like the chap mum you are. Very true. Uh, because uh, I still understand the father works abroad. Yeah, he's still abroad. <laughs> and now you have this uh, sweet seven year old yeah. who is now in grade. Grade one. Grade one. Yeah. And now your newborn, newborn daughter. Yes. And you're able to balance it. I'm able to balance right now. Yes. Yeah, but it was not easy, I think, when, when I was starting, because yes. maybe my idea of marriage was staying with your husband there, mm -hmm. bringing up the kid with him. <laughs> right. But now he has to work for yes. him to provide. Yes, so absolutely. you have to allow him to go work. Yes. So I think with. with I also, I'm older now. Yes, <laughs> I'll say that I'm more mature. Yes, I, I I'm, I'm be able. I, I'm able to. I'm able to tell. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, you're able to 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 have dis discernment. Yes, yes. To see a situation and know well, yes, how true, it operates. True. Yes, and, very and true. And I agree with you because yeah. even me with my second born, I blinked and now he talks back. That's mm -hmm. that's the thing because he mm -hmm. has he has comebacks. Mm -hmm. He's turning three in a month's time and. He's like a full grown baby, yeah. but of course it has a lot of, uh, with the way I, I've brought him up, mm -hmm. because I have brought him up with less fear, yeah. of course more knowledge, uh, I was older when I got him as well. Yeah. Uh, with first bonds, I think there's a lot of uh, things that 
we know but we're never told yeah true and and no one can prepare anybody true. you will know you can even read every book you can go for parenting classes yeah. but there are still things you learn on your own yeah. because each birth each delivery each experience mm -hmm. is unique in its own way true. and hence why I appreciate you even telling your story yes. and owning it and saying hey yeah. I'm that mom who yes. couldn't let go of my baby yes. because I was very fearful yeah. and uh, I Again, I'm not an expert, but I can sense from my own experience mm -hmm. a lot of um, that uh, mom guilt yeah. as well. Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, postpartum depression, yeah. which your way, because the, the, you know, they say post. Mm -hmm. So whenever the experience of birth, whatever it gives you, and in your case, the pregnancy towards delivery, not literally you just knew in your head mm -hmm. i'm the only parent this child has right now yes, yes. i'm the only one who knows that's true. what should yeah. be done yeah. and and we want to normalize these things and yeah, say true. it's okay it is okay it is okay yeah uh, but also there's this other thought at the back of your head and you're mm -hmm. saying what if i become too protective yeah. and my child because we we have to be honest yes. you've seen men grown men who still run to mommy and say oh mommy you know under the skirt uh, so there's that fear because you want this young man to be his own independent self yeah, yeah. and uh, I, honestly your story is quite incredible yeah. I appreciate your honesty yes. brutal truth yeah. and uh, we are going to still hear from our expert of the day yeah, sure. and, and learn more about these things and how again you learned mm -hmm. but the, the whole idea of this show is to teach yeah. that parent out there yeah sure and also show them that whatever they're going through mm -hmm. is a normal it's normal it's a normal yes. case yes. right yeah. so what again an incredible story it's all about birth experience raising your young one every parent especially a mother will have their own experiences because they say yes the dad is the parent pure DNA in it but that child lives in a mother's womb that child has to come out somehow and that child has to nurse and hey in the african society they say Mtoto ni wa mama. Mtoto ni wa mama. so we're the only ones who know the struggles that are silent the struggles we do not even know of the struggles we discover later and eventually the mom guilt like am i leaving my kid too soon have I gone back to work too soon? Am I going to let somebody else take care of my son? Mm -hmm. And this is such a normal thing. And yes. trust me, even today, there's still things I'll step up and I say, oh my goodness, is my child being fed well? Or like, yeah. like I'll give an example. This morning I woke up and I think it was my first son, at my first day, my son was going back to school. Mm -hmm. It was a very cold day. Yeah. And I made sure I was there and I was like, no, change these pants, yeah. pack this, <laughs> let him wear this hat. So it's a relate. very, very normal thing. Yeah. So we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we'll have Dr. Mora, our amazing expert who is also a friend of the nest and she will tell us more about this thing we call postpartum depression this thing that cannot be named even because it's a silent battle but please do not touch that dial we'll be right back mm -hmm. 